question 7 from the 2013 Higher Maths Paper 2, the optimization question. In fact, they've actually made it a bit easier this time for the optimization by pointing out in these little blocks the two conditions that are required to be met. Because in order to end up with an equation with just one variable, you do need this second condition to change one variable, that'll be the y, into an x. Well, what does it say, first of all? You've got this shelter, which is just that folded rectangle, supported by these poles of length x and y. So the total length of all these rods comes to this expression. Well, first of all, what is the total length of all these rods? Call the total length L. Well, I've got one, two, three lots of x, the two in the ground and the one at the apex, so that's three lots of x. And you've got one, two, three, four lots of y. Now that's no use for an expression because I've got two different variables. That's why I needed the other condition. The other condition was an area. So you're looking for a connection between x and y that involves an area. Well, that must be the area of that complete sheet. Now, the area of that sheet will be given by length times breadth. That'll be x times y, but doubled because there's two halves to it. So the area will be 2xy. xy for one rectangle, doubled. Tells you the area is 24, so I can form this thing. 2xy equals 24, so xy equals 12, and if I don't want the y in this expression, I can use this for a substitution. Rearrange this to read y equals, take the x across, and I've got y equals 12 upon x. So I can use that, I'll call that one. So I can put that up here. So L was 3x plus 4 times, but instead of y, I write 12 upon x. So I've got 3x plus 48 upon x for the first part. I could put a wee note what I did there. I was using 1. Now for part B, it says these rods cost £8.25 a metre. I don't know how many, how, what length I've got so far, but you want to minimise the cost, so you want the rods to be as small as possible, that's where it's an optimisation question then. So first of all, find x to get the smallest length, and once you know that length, then it's just £8.25 for each unit of it. Well, for part B then, part 1. Well, if L is equal to that, I'll just rewrite it as 3x plus 48x to the negative 1, because I'm not going to be differentiating. So dL by dx will be 3 minus, multiply by the power, minus 48x, take 1 off the power, negative 2, but I'm going to be using this equation, so I'd rather it had it back in its proper form of powers and reciprocals and so on, so that's 48 over x squared. That's the condition. So there's the expression for the rate of change of the length with respect to x, the total length with respect to the length of that rod x. Now, to find the minimum length required for this, I want this expression to equal zero. This gives the rate of change. At an optimum value, I want the rate of change to be zero, because otherwise it's just going to keep increasing forever or decreasing forever. It'll only reach an optimum if it ever has a rate of change of zero, one way or the other. So, that'll be note, optimum. Optimum means I'm looking for dl by dx to equal 0, which means I want 3 minus 48 over x squared to equal 0. Right, straight away, there's an equation with a fraction in it. Get rid of the fractions. Multiply by everything by x squared, which is fine, so long as you're not multiplying by 0, and x obviously won't be 0, or there'd be no shelter. So I've got 3x squared minus 48 equals 0. Only one mention of x, I don't need to go through factorisation, I can just flip the sides. So I've got 3x squared is 48, x squared will be, divide by 3 is 16, very handy, x will just be 4. Now, you could have the square root, the positive or negative square roots, but it's a real question, and x has to be positive, or as I put a wee note to that effect. Now, strictly speaking, that is the answer to part 1, which said, find the value of x for which the length is minimum. But I think just to be on the safe side, I'll also justify that it's a minimum rather than a maximum. So what I'll do along with this is just have a quick little nature table for x. There's 4, and then I want dl by dx just to show that that, in fact, it's a bit nasty looking, does produce a minimum. Well, if I put 4 into that, it must come to 0, unless I made a mistake somewhere. Pick a number before. 
Now remember, it's a real question, you can't just do anything, but there doesn't seem to be any limit here. There's no reason why x couldn't get down to 1 or up to 10, for instance, just to try some numbers before and after. And then use it in this expression here. So I've got 3 take away, and that'll be 40 over 1. 3 minus 40 is pretty negative. 10, that'll be 3 minus 40 over 100. That's only a little fraction, round about a half, so it'll be positive which means that the graph would look like this, and I can justify it by saying I've got a minimum there. Right, back up here, because we're running out of room there. Finish part B, part 1 formally. I would say L is a minimum when x equals 4. And the second part which says, what is the minimum cost then of that frame will be, well, I just need to know the length of the frame. There's the expression there, so I could work it out. L equals 3x plus 40 over x. There's no need to go back and work out what y is and so on. I've got the value of x here. So it'll be 3 times 4 plus 48 over 4, which is 12 plus 12, which is 24, and that was all in metres. So that means you'll need 24 metres of rod. The rod is £8.25 a metre, so that means that this cost, or in particular this minimum cost, will be 24 lots of £8.25, which gives you £198. There you are, cheaper than a night at the Hilton.